Hello friends. So once again, I am here with the control sequence for an instruction having one of your operand in your indirect mode. In the last video, we have seen for direct mode uh, operand how to write the control sequence for an instruction. We have seen both the examples where we have uh, one word instruction as well as two word instruction. So both the things we have covered in our last video. So today we will see that how to write control sequence whenever we are having indirect mode. Here I am talking about memory indirect mode. That is in the instruction. Where is your data? Data is in memory. But where is the address of the data? It is actually it is something like this. See, in your instruction, you will be getting some address, right? You will be getting some address. And at that address, your data is not there, right? At that address, you are going to get the effective address means address of the operand and then at that effective address your operand will be there your operand will be there in memory that means uh, if it is one word instruction inside the instruction only i'll get the this address then from that address i we will perform one memory operation and we will get the address of the operand address of the operand is called as effective address so from that effective address, we will again perform a memory read operation and we will get our operand. And then we will proceed with the operation as per the opcode of the given instruction. So first let's do this for one address, sorry, one word instruction. That means the length of the instruction is one word inside that, that address part will also come. So example is like this. Uh, that means if we write has 300, that means it is immediate data. Only 300 means direct data. Within bracket 300 meaning is the, it is memory indirect mode. In the instruction, this number, this number is appearing. This number is one address. At this address, your operand is not there. At this address, you will get another address. At that address, your data is there in the memory. That means two times we need to refer to the memory to get the data right so please remember that and accordingly we will proceed so to execute this instruction first we need to patch the instruction from memory so already we are clear with the steps and we are writing these control signals with respect to this particular organization with particular uh, with respect to this diagram only so pc out mar in read select for add jad in right the, this part is incrementing the pc then incremented value will go to PC as well as to Y register. And then we need to wait for memory to complete its work. That is WMFC. And then MDR out, IR in. Instruction is now right now in the instruction register. That time it will also have this value 302, right? Because my instruction is one word. Inside that only every information as part of the instruction will be there, right? So now what I will do from that address, I will read the memory and I will get the effective address. So let's do that. Address field of IR out. So inside IR, I have one address part that I will send on the bus and then I will give it to MAR. MAR in and then read. We will do this and then uh, WMFC because we can't do anything more WMFC. And then in MDR, whatever will come that will be not data that will be rather address of the data that is called as effective address so from this address i need to get the data from memory so this address i need to give it to mar so mar in then read this signal we have given now also we can't do anything before data comes from memory so we'll go to the next step wmfc and then mdr out right and then the data uh, see now the data has come from memory now this data we need to give it to register R1 because we have taken a move instruction. Need not have to do anything more than this. Only this data need to be transferred to register R1. So R1 in. So this is as part of your instruction execution. Everything is covered. Now this instruction comes to an end. That means whenever we write end, it will take us to our, it will make us prepare for next instructions execution. Right? So this is. Uh, for this instruction, what is this is? This is control sequence with respect to this diagram, right? We have seen where my instruction length is one word. Next, I will take the same addressing mode, but next time I'll be taking two word instruction. 
so again the problem is write the sequence of control steps required for the given bus structure that means according to this diagram the following instruction what is what uh, what is the following instruction add the contents of memory location whose address is at memory location num to register r1 right so at memory location num you will be getting one memory location and at that memory location you have your content that you need to add with register r1 right so assume that another information is given assume that each instruction consists of two words so i need to perform two times memory read to get the complete instruction the first word will specify the operation code addressing mode like my previous videos question and the second word contains the number num so it is also there in separate memory location it is not there in the first word of the instruction so it is there in the following word of the opcode part of the instruction right so how it is actually in the memory it is stored this is my memory here your opcode addressing mode the information is there here one address is there here is my next instruction right so i need to read these two things from the memory then only i'll proceed and then as per the addressing mode we will do the things so see here the num is coming within bracket the syntax is same as that of one word instruction only num is kept in a separate memory word so we need to perform two memory reads as part of my complete fetch of the instruction so see cc out mar in this part already you know so again i will not explain this part is done so now the opcode addressing mode every information is there in the ir now after decoding we got to know that we are going to use memory indirect and the address of the instruction uh, that address part is there in the next word because it is a two word instruction so again we will perform one memory operation where is the address to perform memory operation in pc only say previously it was containing 1000 so this time it will be having 1004 so pc out what i will get from this location i will get the address so pc out mar address means the value of num pc out mar in read this i will do as well as once i um, i have informed memory to read in the meantime we will increment the pc to point to the next instruction so select for add z in and then see sometimes i am writing it in lower case sometime in upper case does not uh, make any difference right you can write in any way then z out Uh, that incremented value to pc as well as to y register and then we need to wait till the address comes from the memory right that is wmfc so now see whatever i have read from this memory location that is nothing but this value num right right now i have got only num so after getting num add address num i will get what effective address from effective address i will get the data so this part please need to understand this part right now i have got what i have got this num only now i need to initiate another memory operation after that one more memory operation then only your data will be uh, there right so mdr out that means what the value of num that i need to give to whom mar in then read this is similar to your memory indirect but again i need to do it twice means here i i need to do this step that means to read the complete instruction so mdr out mar in read so num value is given to now mar and then read uh, can i do anything more here no till the address comes so wmfc and then mdr out that means now i have got the effective address of the operand from this effective address i need to get the operand so what i will do i will do again one more memory operation so this address has to be given to whom to mar so mdr out mar in then read signal right so now uh, we have told the memory to give us the data from the given address this we have told in the meantime what we will do we will make r1 in the y register ready so that whenever data comes from memory we will proceed with the add instruction add operation right so what i will do r1 out because here i can't do r1 out uh, because two outs are not possible in the same cycle so next uh, uh, in the same step so in the next step only i have written r1 out then y in and then wmfc 
Now, once we come out of WMFC, that means what? Data is there in MDR. From M, uh, data is in MDR. So if I do MDR out, that means it is on the bus. That means it is on the B input. Now your another input is in Y register. So just do it here. Just make it, uh, means select it to here. So what I will write, select Y. Now A and B both will have the input. So now give the add signal, add. And then result will be taken in Z register, Z in. This much only possible here because after that, from Z register only, we will uh, transfer the result into the destination that is R1. So Z1, sorry, Z out, R1 in. And then everything is done as part of this instruction. So this is the end of this instruction. So it is end. Hope this uh, explanation is clear. See, please understand this is your memory in direct mode where the length of the instruction is two word. In first part, we have got the code addressing mode information. In the second part, we have read your what? The address, from that address, again, we will do the read operation and we will get the effective address. And then from this part, here we will get the operand. Then we have performed the addition and result is given to R1. Hope this part is clear. And if you are getting from my videos, then please uh, do not forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.